Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me just get that out of the way. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Caught ya. I'm gonna do um, a quick just Sunday vibe for you. Enjoy your Sunday. Happy Father's Day to all the dads. And the moms that play dad. Alright. Alright. Actually, I'm just going to do it this way. Oh, alright. Ace of Cups. Hierophant. And the Two of Swords. <clears throat> All right, definitely a new opportunity for love. I feel like in a way it was brought together by a higher connection or a higher connection is trying to bring something together or trying to get you to realize something. It's like you're blindfolded to a situation though. Like indecisiveness, you know. Um, this could be a lesson of self-love. But I'm not really seeing it that way because it wouldn't be questionable. So love is in the air, you know. Um, there's an opportunity here. Whether you grab it, see it, maybe you don't see it. Others of you see it. Others of you, you might just bump into somebody, you might meet somebody new, you don't see it coming. That's always fun. You might have met somebody around the new moon and they're contemplating a relationship. Let's see what this Two of Swords is. Meditation, going within. So that vibe is way better than that vibe. So to me, this is saying you don't see something. To me, this is definitely saying you just don't see something coming. And it looks like a new opportunity in love. It could be with a Taurus. You might meet somebody today, next couple days. Or you already know this person. To me, this is, this is new. So that's exciting. Um, and yeah, I, I just... I just, I think you just don't see it coming. Let's find out what this Ace of Cups is. Five of Cups. So you kind of been sad, stuck in the past, not seeing things clearly. Some of you, it could be past love. So do you feel like you missed an opportunity? This must be an opportunity missed for some of you, okay? Others of you, trust me, you have new love coming and it's out of the blue. You don't see it coming. Depending on who this is, somebody missed an opportunity with you when it came when it came to love, emotional connection. This could be a feminine, this could be a masculine. Um, could be dealing with some type of leader, someone who tries to control situations with the hierophant being here. So this is either you or someone else currently that's upset that they didn't grab an opportunity because the four of cups comes before the five of cups. So this is like dwelling on the past. So if this is you, please pick yourself up and get yourself out of this energy. There's no need for it. You missed the opportunity. You saw it. It was there. You didn't take it. So there might be some regret. But that's you having to work on your own self and, and ask yourself why you didn't own up to certain stuff. You know, that's something that you need to work on. Let's find out what this Hierophant is. The Dragon Trainer. trainer. So this is somebody who comes in and out of your life. This is somebody, it, it's almost like... It's not the Knight of Wands, but it's kind of like the Knight of Wands. Again, it's, it's controlling energy. It's spiritual energy. You might be dealing with somebody who's spiritual and is unaware 
that they're spiritual or somebody that is hiding their own gifts. You're dealing with somebody who knows how to deal with self self control very well. But this self control will like explode if that makes sense. Like if you're keeping something in, do I say something? Do I not? Do I do? like you're shit out of luck? It will come out because it will drive you apeshit. This would give you anxiety. This this could send you to the hospital. Like this, you know what I mean? Like give you stomach problems because your emotions are con your gut is co controlled by emotions, right? And it, it it stems from emotions. But this is trying to control something. So you're going to have no choice <clears throat> but to express, um, if you can't express to somebody, you know, talk to yourself out loud, that could help. Others of you, this is a situation that you were dealing with where there was a missed opportunity, okay, and it could be a blessing in disguise, and you're going to meet somebody new, and honestly, you just, you really, you just, you don't see it coming. So your best advice for Sunday. Oh, damn. You got the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups and the Ace of Cups. This is brand new love. Okay. So, and it's looking right up at the Ace of Cups. So this is either somebody that's going to come in and express. I placed it here. So it could be a messenger. Or I just placed it in front of you because clearly so you could see right so like I said from the get-go some of you are about to meet somebody brand new this is like dating getting out there um, and it could be after something it could be after sorrow I don't really see someone could be dwelling in this energy but I you know you have another energy look at the different energies look how kosher this one is so to me, this is, you got new love coming and you don't even see it. Some of you could be somebody from your past. Others of you, this combination is brand new. Could your past come in brand new? Maybe. There's, there's a lesson here too with the Hierophant being there. Self-love. Stop trying to control your emotions. So you do have energy that is emotional, it's, it's happy, it's calm for some of you. And others of you definitely missed an opportunity because of control, ego, not wanting to be vulnerable. I mean, there's all sorts of different scenarios. Others of you you learned the right lesson. You are upset about something, but you also have brand new energy coming in to get you out of that because you deserve more. Again, you do have two different energies here. Possibly three. This could be somebody from your past that's upset that you met somebody new and you're gonna start dating or something will become serious. So I don't know if you're trying to figure out how to do it. Let's just do one more for the Two of Swords. Six of Pens, trying to balance some things out. <clears throat> you know, trying to remain calm. Um, trying to figure out again how to bring in balance, stability. Even give and take, how do you do it? This is somebody who definitely wanted synergy that clearly didn't get it because somebody was still up in the air. Okay, so regardless, happy Sunday, guys. Okay, there's like three or four different stories here. Some of you is brand new love. Past is going to be upset. Others of you, you are upset with a certain situation because there was a missed opportunity. But honestly, look at that as a blessing in disguise. You got somebody brand new coming in to get you out of this energy. Others of you, you just don't even see this new person coming. It could even be a gift from spirit because that spirit in the Six of Pence is a gift. So it's, it's, 
it's quite interesting energy. I'm not really focused on the Five of Cups. I, I don't feel the Five of Cups that much. It, it could be for those who are in a definitely a lower vibration, but I will tell you from what I'm getting here, the majority of the collective are vibrating higher. So if you are the Five of Cups, here's your best advice. Seven of Wands, block somebody or let your guard down. Others of you, block somebody because you got new love coming in. Don't pay any attention to somebody who's angry because this is somebody who's angry because they didn't make their own moves. Does that make sense? This is you're dealing with somebody who's butthurt because they didn't make the right moves. So this is anger. So some of you need to block this because it's fucking with your energy. And I'm dead serious. Don't let this energy within your aura. Because you got brand new, brand new love coming to you. And, and probably a higher love, probably a spiritual love with the dragon trainer. This is somebody who's adventurous, outgoing, nothing stops them. Okay, so don't let your past block what this beautiful gift is. Because I'm telling you, some of you, this is a gift and you don't see it coming. Some of you have to physically block outlets and others of you have to emotionally block outlets. So you got to know who's who. Because you have somebody from your past that is not happy that they missed an opportunity with you. Whether it's feminine, masculine, it doesn't matter. Regardless, you got brand new energy coming in. Just want to clarify the Seven of Swords so I can see if it's you need to be vulnerable or if it's a blockage. It's the Knight of Pens. So it's a masculine energy. Okay, this is the slowest night in the deck. You could be dealing with an earth sign. Um, this is probably somebody that tried to resurrect something, but it didn't happen. This is also, you know, spirit telling a masculine, stop dwelling on the past, stop looking at the past. It's it's stagnant. It's It's not getting you anywhere. You need to be focused. And now you're in the energy of being angry. There's a masculine here that's angry. It's either because another feminine moved on or another masculine. Okay, whatever. Um, or this is... Hold on. No, yeah, no, this is definitely a masculine energy that is upset they missed an opportunity. Somebody who's focused on the past, focused on the wrong things. Letting their ego get in the way because that's a lot of control. It's a lot of controlling energy. Others of you, you're going to meet somebody new. Don't don't be indecis indecisive because this is a gift. I don't know when it's coming. It could be within the next eight days because it's sitting on top of this, the, the two and the six. It could be within the next couple days. Get the Hierophant right there, so seven days. I'd say within the next few days you might meet somebody new could meet a boss a leader could be somebody at work with the hierophant being there again honestly you wouldn't even see it coming so that's exciting the energy is shifting hold on I'm just talking to myself for a minute because you got brand new and you got the past Hold on. Hey, I'm just doing a video. Can I call you right back? Um, yeah. Everything okay? Yeah, like, have you talked to Mia? Yeah, she's not coming home. Um, okay. Alright, that alright? I guess, like, why is Daddy even coming here? Alright, let me, let me just wrap this up. I'll call you back. Because I, okay, I guess, like, I just don't even think Jay's saying. All right, I'll call you right back. Love you, bye. So I always answer for my kids. Um, Mia's away. I don't think Jade's. I got four. Mia's away. 
and Lonnie was it was unexpected and I don't even know if my oldest is gonna be around so I don't I don't know this this could be a Father's Day situation too let me place the dads for a minute I don't see children on the board though. So you could be dealing with somebody who's a father. And they'd be having a rough day. But that would be their own blockages. Something, you know, they did cause to felt like it, it would be their own blockage. And I mean, I hate to say that, but, uh, more self-love would definitely be needed. But I don't think this is, that's a fact, right? But I don't think that's regarding this. You know what I mean? Because this is brand new love. This is meeting somebody. This is dating. This is getting together. This is wanting to communicate. This is wanting to feel this. This is wanting. Okay. So... If you want it and you're not going after it, then it, that's on you with that energy. You're dealing with somebody who does make practical moves, the right type of moves, right? But not not right now because this, this would normally be somebody who's like that, but this person can't make those moves right now, not in this energy. So there's there's a blockage. And only you can take care of that. Only you can release it. It's telling me right now the masculine has to put up boundaries. Because you're still hurt regarding the past. And you missed an opportunity to have a blessing. You know, and others of you, this energy is going to watch somebody else move forward. Others of you, it's going to be... If it's all linked, it's going to be their past person being bent out of shape. So this masculine needs to be real strong and put up boundaries. But that's for very few of you. Others of you, it's a masculine that you were just dealing with that didn't take an opportunity with you. And it's, it's, it's missed and they're pissed. And they're going to watch you move on. And I would definitely take a new opportunity, troops, because... This combination is a blessing in disguise. Others of you, it's going to be somebody from your past and they're going to want to communicate. They're going to want to talk about their emotions. You might have them blocked right now, though. Hey, when there's a will, there's a way. At the end of the day, the energy is as lovely as the Nine of Cups. It's being in tuned with who you are, what you want, how you feel. So if you're in that energy, feel it, enjoy it. Just want to grab one more message. The hangman. Yeah, it's time to change your perspective. It's time to sacrifice. It's, it's time to do what's best for you. It's time to really, you know, go within. If you're putzing around, that that's on you. If you're dwelling on the past, that's on you. It's it, it's time to make a change with the hangman. It, it's literally time to look at something differently. So you do have an energy here that's, you know, more of a pessimist than an optimist. That's for sure always looking at the negative side versus the positive side of things. This is like, take the opportunity, grab it, and think about it afterwards. Because all this thinking already got you here. Because somebody else is about to step in. It is time to really um, change how you're thinking about something, especially if it's a negative thought. Okay? All right. I love you guys. Happy Sunday. And for all the dads, happy Father's Day. Bye.